Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the June Keys Penguin Habitat. My name's Michelle. I'm joined today with all of our penguins, as well as Allie, who's doing my record keeping today. Now, if you're wondering what we were doing just a little bit before, is anytime I feed a penguin, we keep track of what they're eating. And so every time a, a penguin has gotten a piece of food, it gets tracked because we want to make sure that they're getting enough food to maintain their current level level of health. Now, they did eat quite a bit uh, this afternoon uh, for their lunch, so I may not have a lot of participants coming up to feed. But normally I will always have some. Now if you look over on my left hand side, you can see this lovely, sweetie, you're a little dirty though. Um, this is Gats, and Gats is our youngest penguin. And the way that you can tell he's our youngest is that he does not have that distinctive double black bar like Admiral does. And that is because he is a juvenile penguin. Well, hi Patsy. You didn't like that one? What about that one? So Admiral got a herring, Admiral got another herring, and this is why I usually don't do this on mic because it's not very exciting, me telling, and he doesn't want that herring. Now if you notice, Patsy did come up to see what I had, and she decided that those three herring were not to her liking. Um, feeding a penguin is much like feeding a three-year-old. Uh, they have the same mentality. They may just look at it and throw it back at you, which I've had done before. Or they will just turn their head and just say no. Um, oh, these guys are quite inquisitive. Go ahead and just keep that in the shade. <clears throat> these guys are quite inquisitive, so anytime we do come out here with new items, they always want to take a look at it. Now, one of the things that we always try to do is keep their minds active. So we uh, do training with these animals. We have them trained to go up onto a scale so that we can get voluntary weights. We can also train them to allow us to have access to them. So if you came a little earlier, you notice that some of our nest boxes had, had uh, holes in them that were plugged up. Now, each one of these holes goes to a nest box. Four of them were holed up because we actually gave vitamins and meds this morning to uh, half of the parents of the chicks that uh, are being raised right now. We can't have them go back to the chicks and regurgitate that food with the medicine in it. So we hold them uh, pretty much into the main exhibit so they can't get to their young until after that food is digested and that allows us to make sure that not only do the adults get the medicine that they need but the penguins uh, the baby chicks aren't getting any type of meds that they do not need <clears throat> so you have <laughs> you have some friends coming on the back and that is uh, Andy so he may be a little um, keep your ponytail to the front so, like I said, we are in their uh, area. They are very comfortable with us. You can tell that we have penguins kind of pretty much everywhere around us, making their way down. Be nice. Now, penguins are quite territorial when it comes to certain areas or certain um, people. So, sometimes Admiral and Gats will be territorial over us, the trainers, more so just because I think they think we're their girlfriends. You can go swim. But one of the things that we strive to do is get as many people up here as the training staff that they know a lot of different people. Now right now we do have our encounters closed because it is uh, breeding season but once the breeding season is open we will uh, offer that back up again and it's always a lot of fun to be able to interact with these animals. Now the mixture of food that we give them is a mixture of herring and capelin and everything is restaurant quality so if you wanted to you could go home and eat this but I'm not a big fan of either one of those fishes. You going to eat that? No? Again, like I said, feeding a three-year-old. Now, sometimes people often wonder, why don't we have ice here? Where's the ice? These are penguins. Well, these guys are actually temperate penguins, meaning that they like the temperature just like we like this temperature. Uh, one thing that is different, however, is that right off the coast of Chile, there is a jet stream that has cold water in it, and it comes right um, 
at the base of where these animals would normally nest. And so our water temperature mirrors that water temperature as well. So it's around 50, 55 degrees in this exhibit. And this allows the penguins that if they do get warm, they can just pop into the water and then come back up on deck. Now, during the molting season, penguins don't like to go into the water because they've lost all those outer feathers that keep them waterproof, and so they like to stay up on deck. Now, sometimes it does get a little warm, so we baby our penguins quite, <laughs> quite a lot. So we actually have mister systems set up within the exhibit that we can keep it actually quite cool if it does get a little warm in the Southern California sun. Now, as you can tell, I don't have a lot of takers. I have a lot of penguins that just want to sit up here with me. But for the most part, they're done with their feeding. They do get fed at least three times a day, sometimes more, sometimes less. It depends on the time of year. During our molting season, right before molt, these animals bulk up quite a bit. They'll actually almost get another third of their size in food so that they could live up on the uh, beach while they lose all those feathers. And it's called a catastrophic molt or explosive molt because they literally lose all their out feathers. And all that's left are the downy feathers underneath. Now, these penguins do not uh, care for this. It lasts for about two weeks. It's really hard on the body, so that's why we actually did have the Mr. Systems, so we can try to make them as comfortable as possible. But it's a time when they don't eat a whole lot because they are not feeling all that great, so they eat a lot right before. And then after they get all their brand new feathers in, that's when they'll start picking up again. Well, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and say thank you all for coming to the aquarium because your admission does help us take care of all of our animals. So for myself, Allie, and all the penguins, we hope you enjoy your day here at the Aquarium of the Pacific, and we hope to see you again real soon.